Okay, hey everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian vlog. That's video plus blog equals vlog. Learn something new every day. Um, I'm gonna app, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to talk first. I'm going to answer a couple of questions um, that I've been getting, that I've been seeing uh, quite a bit. So these are popular questions. Um, if you have a question, feel free to send it in and I'll get to it at the next vlog. So um, uh, a question that I've been getting a lot of is, what do you mean by tucking the pelvis, Adrian? What do you mean by tuck your pelvis? And I um, actually just shot a video where I kind of spoke about this. But what I mean is uh, the pelvis, let's say this is the base of the pelvis, often rests like this and then provides this nice curve in the spine. So often in yoga, we talk about tucking the pelvis. And what I'm really trying to say is lengthen your tailbone down. So the coccyx in the tail is kind of lifting up towards the sky and we want to kind of curl it in, lengthen it down. This engages the intercostal muscles of the, the front body, the abdominal wall, without creating tension or tightening in the belly. So we can still breathe and have like full breath capacity there. Um, so yeah, lengthen down through the tailbone and always maintain that lift in the heart. And then maybe that's a better way of saying tuck the pelvis. It's kind of a tricky thing to talk about, so we can keep this conversation going. Uh, also in our next Yoga for Weight Loss video, we address this um, with the visual. So the next thing is, Adrian, what do I wear in yoga? And a lot of people are like, sorry for the stupid question, what do I wear in yoga? Well, first of all, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Um, but second of all, it's a really good question. Uh, a lot of my, even my own friends, Blue, stop, um, ask me this all the time because you want to be comfortable. I mean, yoga is about becoming empowered, so you want to feel good. Uh, that does not mean that you need to have the most expensive yoga pants. Lord knows I don't, um, but it does mean that you should have something that you feel comfortable in, A. Uh, B, make sure it's something that you can actually move in. <laughs> so um, when you bend over and your pants fall down, you want to make sure they stay up, if, unless you care. I mean, your pants can fall down in my class, I don't really care, um, either way. Um, but make sure it's something that you can actually have full range of movement in. So I recommend, you know, um, yeah, just pants or shorts that are comfortable and that you can move in. Really, I want to be careful about what I say because I don't want you to go spend a bunch of money on yoga clothes, um, per se. But most of all, comfortable and that you can move in. Uh, something that you can maybe is a little more lightweight if you're like me and you're in Texas and it's already hotter than hell everywhere. Um, hot yoga is good, but um, you know you want to be able to maybe have some clothes that breathe a little bit. The short answer is find what feels good, right? Find something you're comfortable in and uh, that can breathe a little bit. No pun intended. That was a good one though, breathe. Okay, the last question, uh, it was a couple of questions I kind of combined into one and it was, um, I have bad knees or I've heard both things. I have bad knees, can I still do yoga? I have bad ankles, can I still do yoga? I've also heard I have um, weak wrists, can I still do yoga? Yes. Uh, yoga is about union, mind, body, soul. So taking in all of those truths or spirit and um, making the best out of them, finding what feels good. And often we don't do yoga, we don't do something because we think we have a block up against when really it's the yoga or this practice that is the very thing that will help us kind of move through that pain, find the in of the pain, the out of the pain, and move on to a new stage uh, with the knees, the wrists, or the ankles. This is also a very tricky question because I feel like um, it depends on maybe if you have an injury that's in healing, um, or if we just need to build more integrity and strength in the body, in the core. And I'm not talking again about the abdominal wall, only. I'm talking about this integrity from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. So it's going to be different for everyone, but um, the short answer is yes, you can still do yoga. And for everyone, continue to be mindful, especially around those joints. And if you have had an injury, be extra mindful um, and really pay attention to the sensations of the body so you don't do anything that will cause you pain. That's no good. 
Okay, so those are all my questions for now. We have more videos on the way. I'm so excited. Uh, lots of stuff coming at you from Yoga with Adrian. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like us on Facebook. There's tons of stuff on Facebook. It's not just pictures of me in blue, but tons of fun stuff. Oh, I also, I just made this homemade mosquito spray and everyone has been asking me what is the recipe for this. It's really good and it smells wonderful. You just spray it in your house like this. So good, uh, very simple ingredients and it smells amazing. And I will post that on the blog very soon, that recipe. So thank you and leave your questions, comments below. I'll see you next time. Namaste.